problem number three for the result of three or more concurrent forces. So determine the force F in concurrent force system to produce a resultant of 155 kN downward to the right 35 degrees with respect to x-axis as shown in figure 6.0. So ito daw force system natin is mapag-create ng resultant na R which is equals to 155 kN na 30 degrees with respect to x-axis. Okay? At hahanapin natin yung missing na force sa ating force system. Okay? So, since wala siyang binigay na inclination with respect to x-axis or with respect to y-axis, mangubo na tayo ng position ng ating force F. Sabi natin ang position ng ating force F is andito sa quadrant 3. Ito yung force F. And yung kanyang theta is theta x. Okay? So, hindi natin alam kung paan yung kanyang direction. Mangubo lang muna tayo. Okay. So, yung ating resultant R is downward to the right. Therefore, yung kanyang mga component, so yung kanyang horizontal component is to the right, summation of forces, horizontal. At yung kanyang forces vertical is downward. So, this is summation of forces vertical. Samantalang naman, yung ating force F, o yung ating mga given forces, yung ating 10, it is upward to the right. Okay? At yung ating 10, uh, okay, this is 28. Not 80 kN. This is 28 kN. So, uh, okay, this is downward to the right. At yung ating force F is downward to the left. So, by summation of forces, or yung ating uh, R, kapag kinuha natin yung kanyang force vector, makakuha tayo dyan ng paralelogram na rectangle. Okay? So, by uh, sa katawa so this is our R and ito yung kanyang mga component so this is summation of forces horizontal and this is summation of forces vertical so if this is 30 degrees therefore by opposite angle this is also 30 degrees so by sa katawa yung ating summation of forces horizontal is equals to R cosine of 30 degrees Okay, sorry, this is 35 degrees. 35 degrees. And yung ating summation of forces vertical is equals to R sine of 35 degrees. So yung ating summation of forces horizontal is equals to, is equals to positive 126.969. And yung ating summation of forces vertical is downward 88.904. So, para silang kilo newton. Yung ating summation of force horizontal, positive, therefore it is to the right. And yung ating summation of force vertical is negative, therefore downward. Okay? So, by summation of force horizontal, to the right is positive. It is equal to 10 cosine of 15 degrees plus 28 cosine of 65 degrees minus FH. So, this is... FH and this is FB. And yung ating summation of force horizontal is equals to positive 126.969 is equals to 10 cosine of 15 degrees plus 28 cosine of 65 degrees minus FH. Therefore, yung ating FH is equals to negative 105.476 kilo Newton. So, since negative yung nakuha nating uh, summation of forces horizontal, therefore, mali yung kanyang direction. So, it should be positive 105.476 kN to the right. Next, yung summation of forces vertical naman natin, upward is positive, is equals to 10 sine of 15 degrees minus 28 sine of 65 degrees plus 30 minus FB. So, ating summation of force uh, vertical is negative 88.904 is equals to 10 sine of 15 minus 28 sine of 65 plus 30 minus FB. Okay, yung ating uh, FB is equals to 96. Okay, positive 96.116 kilo newton. 
So, since positive ang FB, tama yung ating assumption na siya ay downward. So, this is downward. So, by, uh, okay, by Pythagorean theorem, yung force F natin is equal to FB squared plus FH squared. So, equals to, okay, FB, 96.116 squared plus 105.476 squared. So, yung force F natin is equals to 142.701 kilo newton. Since it is downward, ito naman to the right. Therefore, yung ating uh, force F is downward to the right. Next, yung kanyang inclination. Yung ating inclination na theta x is equals to tangent okay, arctan of sami, uh, okay, arctan of Fb over Fh. So, yung ating Fb is negative since downward, yung ating Fh is positive to the right. Therefore, yung ating mga kuhang uh, theta x is equals to negative 42.342 degrees. So, negative dahil yung ating force F is nakalocate sa quadrant 4 na downward to the right. So, this is our force F at yung kanyang inclination or theta x is clockwise. Therefore, it is negative 42.342 degrees. So, that is our problem number 3 for the result of 3 or more concurrent forces. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.